Now let's take a look at what we call a midge emerger. At times trout will focus on those midges that are just hanging in the surface film and create a great opportunity for those of us who like to sight fish. Now this pattern is designed to float only the front or emerging portion of the fly while the main body is still under the surface film. It requires proper attention uh, to our casting, especially uh, long light tippets. Very careful application of floating to the hackle and thorax will really work very well. These are the materials that we're going to use. We're going to use a light wire scud hook right here. This is about a size 16. Uh, the body itself will be uh, tied with this uh, stretchy floss. Um, we're going to use uh, some white polypropylene yarn to post up, uh, a small uh, grizzly dry fly hackle, and the thorax will be uh, done with this uh, super fine uh, poly dubbing that floats quite well. Okay, now let's get started. We'll slide these materials out of the way here a little bit. I'm selecting a light wire scud hook. Uh, this particular one is probably a size 16, maybe an 18, pretty small. Okay. We're going to be using some black dot thread. We start out by attaching our thread up here at the head end of the thing. Pop that off. Use a piece of this uh, stretchy uh, plastic floss and we want to tie just the end in right up here at the head end of the Thing, right next to the eye of the hook, okay? At this point we can put the bobbin out of the way and I'm going to rotate the vise uh, towards me uh, like this so that we can lay this floss on edge to edge. Now as we work our way back we increase the pressure, the amount of stretch, see right here? Increase that as you work your way back around the bend of the hook and always keeping it just edge to edge. See how you can dodge the point there when you rotate the vise? It all the way down around the bend of the hook like this. This is where the fine point jaws are very helpful for tying around the bend as they say. Now once you're to the back, reverse yourself, start working your way forward. Again keeping that edge to edge and reduce the pressure a little bit. What this does, this develops the taper that we want on the body. That's kind of a distinctive characteristic of this pattern. Okay, see how nicely that worked out? At this point I'm going to bring the bobbin in, tie off the floss, secure it with a half hitch. We'll reach in with our little pointy scissors, trim that nice and tight. I'm going to take a piece of polypropylene yarn and we wrap this right around the hook. That way it will never pull out. You secure it with a couple wraps up front, a couple wraps in back to prop it up a bit. And then we develop the post by going around the material like this. Usually three or four turns is pretty adequate. Okay, that's nice. Next, I'm going to select a small dry fly hackle, beautiful little feather, and we'll tie the quill in front of the post. And what I like to do is uh, get back here, and I'll actually bring the feather and the post together, go around both of them. And not a bad idea to secure it with a half hitch. At this point, grab hold of our hackle and we circle the post. This is a parachute hackle. You go under each time. Under, oops, I broke it off. That's going to happen, guys. Don't worry about it. Just pick it up and again, as you go around, go underneath with each turn like this. Three or four turns, it works out just fine. Okay, end up in front. Now preen back these hackle fibers and you can take the thread and turn right over the quill. That'll fasten it securely to the shank of the hook. Slide your little pointy scissors up there, trim out the hackle. You notice this little red collar on the tube? That's a, that's a piece of that uh, bobbin cone. We use that as a hackle guard, and so you can take and push your hackles back like so. This allows you to maybe secure it with a half hitch. Oops, we got a little errant hackle there. We got that clipped off. Sorry about that, guys. 
I'm using some poly dubbing, uh, polypropylene yarn. It floats really nice. Just take a little bit of dubbing like this and you can spin it onto your thread right up here near the eye of the hook, about like so. And then I'll use the vise so I can rotate this. And this allows me to see where each turn of hackle is going to end up. There you go. Fill that right back into the post like so. And what I'd like to do at this point is secure it with a half hitch, come back whoop, like so, and whip finish right on top of your half hitch. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's slide this back out of the way. I'll go ahead and trim that thread off. We'll trim off our post fairly short. Neat little fly, guys, and it really works. You can see it has a nice profile to it. It'll hang right here in the surface film. The body part will be underneath the water. And those little rascals will just come up and eat it. <laughs>